Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, is this like the um, olden day Fifty Shades of Grey room? Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching Vikings. This is season three, episode 10. Last episode of season three. I'm super excited to get into this because um, I need to know what happens. Last episode we ended with Ragnar being baptized and <laughs> Lagatha saw, Rolo saw, Floki saw. I'm pretty sure they did not like what they saw. Um, and Ragnar was, you know, well, first of all, if you haven't watched that episode, click here, watch that one with me, and then come back and you can uh, finish out season three with me. But yeah, uh, amazing episode, last episode. Um, I got a little emotional at the end because Ragnar, he thinks he's dying, which he very well may be. He did not look great. He did not look great. Um, but he wanted to be baptized so that when he dies, he can go and be with Ethel Stan and I'm getting emotional again. <sighs> just so freaking, I love them. I just love them. Um, and I'm really going to be upset when slash if Ragnar dies. I'm kind of expecting him to die in this episode because they were kind of setting it up that way, but I'm hoping I'm praying to the gods. <laughs> I'm hoping he does not die in this episode um, or anytime soon. <sighs> anyway, enough of that. Let's just get to it. I wanna see what happens. Grab your drinks. So I got my coffee or grab your water or your tea, grab your snacks. If you uh, are one of those people who likes to watch the full episodes, uh, you can check those out on my Patreon below. Um, I post the full episodes and I also post them a lot sooner than YouTube because I don't have to edit them. <laughs> so they come out a lot sooner than YouTube edits. But yeah, if you're interested, go check out my uh, Patreon below. Okay, let's get started. And I did not put mascara on because I was like, <laughs> I'm probably going to cry this episode. I mean, I almost, it almost got me just thinking about them. So here we go. Oh, this one is called The Dead, by the way. Vikings! <laughs> I'm just curious what Ragnar's other terms were. Because it can't just be that he wanted to be baptized. There has to be something else. All the treasure is here, as promised. Okay. They have met their obligations. The Emperor expects that you will meet yours and leave immediately. So they got some treasure, that's good. Treasure and baptism. I'll tell Ragnar. Looks nice. <coughs> yeah, he doesn't look good again. Poor guy. They brought the payment. It makes no difference to me. I am dying. Yeah. Can't you guys see that? <laughs> but at least I know. I will see Athelstan again. I cannot believe that Ragnar is truly a Christian. Not in his heart. You saw what you saw, and I heard what I heard. But you two were baptized, yeah. That's true. I forgot Rolo was baptized. God's protected me from the Christian magic. They refuse to protect Ragnar. No Christian king will ever be allowed to rule our world. It's unthinkable. Now everybody knows Jesus. Someone needs to kill him. Yeah, this is not good. If he doesn't die naturally, then you heard what that guy said, that someone needs to kill him. Jesus Christ, this isn't good. You saved our city. Please, allow me to demonstrate my gratitude. 
Oh boy. There will come a time when you will be responsible for our people. You are okay. <laughs> for now. For now. <laughs> but when your time comes, which could be soon, you must lead with your head, not with your heart. I have something I only trust you to do for me. <clears throat> this seems kind of ominous, huh? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, is this like the um, olden day Fifty Shades of Grey room? If you would submit <sighs> to what? To being chained up. Oh my god, it is. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what a kinky bastard. Ragnar asked me to build him one last pot. Really? For what? It's almost a month since we gave them their blood money. So why are they still here? I don't know. He wants to know why you're still here and not returned home. They've honored their pledge. Why are you not honoring yours? Our king, my father, Ragnar Lothbrook, is too weak and ill to travel. He's recovering. He wants to see. What's he going to do? Oh, he wants to see that they're not lying, maybe? If he dies, he's only asked one thing. <sighs> that he receive a proper Christian burial. Otherwise, we will not leave. He says you may bring his body to the cathedral, carried by unarmed men. They will say a Christian mass for his soul. <sighs> he is gonna die. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. <sighs> Damn it. Damn it. If you have gone to heaven, then we will never meet again. And yet, I think Odin will ride like the wind and rescue you. <laughs> no. There we shall meet again. Sorry you're dead, but well, it happens to all of us sooner or later. I mean, the boat that will take you to your heaven. Give my regards to Athelstan, by the way. Oh, he will. You betrayed us. No, you betrayed Ragnar. I, I hate you, Ragnar Lothbrok. He doesn't hate him. He's just. 
And I love you with all He's my just heart. upset. I know Floki did love Ragnar. I mean, he kind of loved him. I don't want to say too much, but his love is what made him kill Ethelstan. I mean, I knew it was probably going to happen. I knew it was probably going to happen in this episode. I just didn't want to. I didn't want it to. I hope they don't turn on them and attack them. It's going to be really weird without Ragnar. God, they really hurt you in season three, huh? I was kind of just getting used to Ethelstan being gone. And now frickin' Ragnar's gone. It was a beautiful coffin, though. I will say that. Well, you have to go into the city. Unfortunately, he wasn't alive for it. <laughs> Wonder how they feel about this. Wait, what? What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on? Ragnar, you mother frickin' flippin' fucker. I win. <laughs> I am so shocked right now. I was not expecting this. I thought he was freaking dead, Ragnar. You made me grieve for your ass. Sweet, did all the other Vikings know? Oh, is that what he wanted to talk to Bjorn about? Are you freaking kidding me? So what, he's kidnapping the princess? That was the plan? Oh my god. This is crazy. But it's like, just like something Ragnar would do. Are you kidding me? So is he better now? Or is he actually still like, injured? I'm kind of speechless, you guys. I don't even know what to say. He still doesn't look right. There's Bjorn. <laughs> he means go. He means go. Go back to your people. <laughs> He's letting you go. So wait, okay. <clears throat> Bjorn must have known, but did Lagatha and Rollo and Floki know? when they were talking to him? I don't think they did. So he kind of heard what their last words were and how they truly felt. Wow. Wow. Can you imagine if you were them, how shocked you would be? Oh no, yeah, he's still not good. I thought maybe he had healed, but I guess not. Yep, he heard what you guys said. Okay, interesting. Third time's a charm, maybe? 
I don't know. They seem to not have much men left. Men slash women, I mean, fighting people. Why did you not tell us earlier? Did you not trust us? <laughs> I did what my father mm -hmm. asked me to do. Yeah. So they didn't know. <laughs> Bjorn's face. Now they regret what they said. But because we intend on reading Paris again in the spring, it is important to maintain. Oh, Floki. Sort of you will winter here with the rest of the warriors who decide to stay with you. Interesting. Well, he's still good. He's still kicking. You will return in the spring, probably in even greater numbers. Surely one of your brothers would come to our aid. I have begged and pleaded your cause to no avail. No one's coming. So what are we to do? You're going to have to marry someone with a big army. That's how it works. I cannot and will not allow such an intolerable fate to befall a beloved city. You will have to offer them even more money. I will have to offer them even more. Oh, than is he going to give her to them? I must offer them something far more precious to me. Her. But why? Do they want her? I must offer your hand in marriage. <laughs> Well, that's what I was thinking. She would marry somebody, but I wasn't thinking she would marry the Vikings. I am your father. But I am also the Emperor of Francia. Mm -hmm. It is not your father who asks it's this your king. of you. It or is emperor, the emperor, whatever. Don't worry, they're not as bad as you think. I promise. You will be offered a vast area of land in the northern part of Francia. The emperor will also make you a duke, the highest honor he can bestow. And you'll marry the daughter? The emperor also offers the hand in marriage of his beautiful daughter, Princess Gisler. He's going to accept, isn't he? What must I do in the return? You will defend Paris against your brother. Oh, shit. When he comes back. He's Rolla's going to accept. I know he is. He doesn't. Well, I'll talk more about it when the episode's over. J'avoue, salut. Is Ragnar gonna make it? Someone's going to try to frickin' kill him, aren't they? Loki. You killed that those two. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Alrighty, friends, that's the end of that episode. Wow, what a crazy ending to season three. I freaking Ragnar. Here I am crying my eyes out and he's pretending the whole time. I feel like that's such a typical Ragnar thing to do as well. Oh my God. And, uh, Wow. Okay, first of all, so glad Ragnar is not dead. So glad. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Oh lord. Thank you. Thank the gods. <laughs> um, that being said, I do feel like, unfortunately, uh, he's still not looking very good. And I do feel like he might pass away in season four 
maybe in the beginning, I don't know. Um, I just have a bad feeling about that, that he might pass away uh, pretty soon when I start season four. So, I, <laughs> I'm still not gonna be ready for it. I'm glad I got extra time with him, oh my goodness. But um, I'm still gonna hate when or if Ragnar dies in Vikings, I just, I'm just, it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck. Whenever it happens, if it does happen, it's going to suck. Anyway, so yeah, that was a twist. Holy monkey. <laughs> was not expecting that at all. Wow. Um, okay, now, Ragnar knows how people really feel about him now. Because they didn't know that he wasn't dead. Only Bjorn knew. So, <laughs> Rolo. When he was talking to Ragnar when he thought he was dead, I didn't comment on it then because I was too upset. I was crying because I thought Ragnar was dead, but I was listening to what he said. He literally showed like barely any emotion. He was just like, well, I'm sorry you're dead, but it happens to all of us. What? What? Surprised it happened to you first. You know? Uh, I don't know. I just. <sighs> I had hope for Rolo. I really did. And I was starting to like him. Oh, I did like him. I do like him. It, to a extent. To a point. But as I said like a couple episodes ago, Ragnar loved Ethelstan and had a better bond with Ethelstan. And I feel like Ethelstan definitely loved Ragnar more than his own brother does. You can tell, you can see it. I mean, and especially what he said when he died, there was no crying. I mean, Ragnar was tore up, absolutely tore up when Ethelstan passed away. He said, what am I gonna do now? I, you know, you left this, you left me, like I can't, nothing anybody says will help me, you know, move past this. Um, he was tore up with Ethel Sand's death. <laughs> Compare that with Rollo when Ragnar died. It's like he's talking to, you know, an acquaintance, like not his brother. So that just goes to show right there that he really never got over the resentment for Ragnar and his issues with Ragnar and just cause they're blood in the show doesn't mean shit. I mean, he's gonna betray Ragnar. I can, I already knew as soon as they made the offer to him, I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna take it. He's gonna take it because he's not loyal. He's not loyal to his brother. He's not. He's just not that type of person, um, unfortunately for Ragnar. He lost his true brother. His true brother is dead. So Ragnar knows now, though I, I have a sinking feeling that he already knew that deep down. He just doesn't want to admit it because it's his brother. Um, but anyway, yeah, interesting, very interesting. He knows about Floki, though he already knew in the first place, but I guess now it was dealt, like it was confirmed for him because of what Floki said. And so I wonder what he's going to do about that or if he's going to do anything else. I don't know. I'm assuming he will. And I wonder if Helga's ever going to tell anybody because you can tell she wants to, but um, she hasn't yet. So I don't know. But wow. Wow. Uh, what an episode. What a freaking episode. <laughs> That was it. All right. End of season three, on to season four. And um, thank you all so much for watching with me. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe below. I would love to have you join my community. Um, stay on this, you know, journey of Vikings with me. Uh, we're also starting a new show soon, uh, Black Sails. If you're into that, that'll be coming soon. I also watch movies. Go check those out somewhere on the playlist and um yeah 
Thanks for watching and have an amazing, amazing rest of your day or your night, my friends. All right, see you later. Bye.